have my doubts, but I never had any issues except when I got out of the pond and I went to slow down the ice shack slid sideways and the hitch went over my track and the track kind of sucked the hitch in. Holy cow, I thought I was gonna be thought I was gonna rip my track off there, but oh got out of it okay so it's very very windy I know it's supposed to be like minus 22 tonight but I got the uh, military sleep system there so it should be fine plus I'll still use the uh, Crisco candle there or whatever to keep a little bit of the draft out you know if, if it warms it up a couple of degrees even you know it's, at least it's something but yeah first thing I'm gonna do is uh, is uh, get my auger and drill a bunch of holes try to figure out where I want to set up then I'll pull the ice shack over that and drill some holes and we'll get fishing we'll get the kettle on of course and uh, yeah gonna enjoy the day and the night it's already in the afternoon so I mean dark now 5 30 or so but uh, yeah we're gonna enjoy the afternoon enjoy the evening and uh, have our first little overnight here and uh, hopefully we catch some trout for supper I think I broke my drill I was drilling some holes outside to start sounding like it was uh, like the motor was stripped out so this might be the only hole I get drilled right here look Smell the drill burn. Oh man. Oh, someone's coming. All right. We'll give her a go. We might as well get everything unpacked. Hey, Luki. Sorry, buddy. Because I don't think I'm going to move from here. Uh, I'm afraid if I move, and then I can't get my drill working, I can't uh, put down another hole. Lots of traffic today. It's Saturday, so going to be lots of snowmobilers and stuff. I just got some artificial artificial leeches and maggots we try that today I thought I had some salt pork somewhere but I can't find it maybe it's in the quad I don't know probably have a look after but I'll try some of this first I have caught trout on these uh, little maggots before so just get a little teardrop I got on there. Trout attraction gel. I don't know if you guys can see that, but we'll try a little drop of that on there too. Don't usually use this stuff, but try anything. This froze up anyway, so it's probably not gonna work. There we go. A little drop, it froze up though. Drop her down the hole, Lukey boy. Let's see if we can catch some supper, Lukey boy. I tell you, there's not much water there. We'll see. Luke, when he's outside, he chases every snowmobile and quadder that comes along, of course. Hey, look. Man, I wish I could see out both windows. Not a bad setup. Pretty happy with it. Don't get your nose 
almost too close to that stove. Wow, man, it's 10 degrees. 10 degrees in here. We're about to have our first cup of tea in the ice shack. First cup of tea in the ice shack. First of many. Good. Eh? Ah, 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 ah. What do you think you're doing? I'll save you some. Mmm. You stay. You want to try a little piece? Hmm? Yeah. I guess I can eat fish out of a can if I can't catch any. Hey, look. What do you figure? Should we, should we try a different hook? Look at the ice build up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Ah! Don't you, don't you dare bite that hook. Picking up. Yahoo! Not much wind in here, is it, boy? Huh? Not much wind in here, is it? Huh? Cup tea? Get out of that. That's mine. That's a good cup of tea. That's a good cup of tea. That's a good cup of tea. You want to put this one on? Stay warm? Huh? There we go. Come here. Come here. I'm better. Huh? I'm better? Huh? Look, boy. Stay warm. Let me see ya. Look. Yes, boy. Better? <laughs> All right, come here. I just moved the uh, ice shack a little bit found a little spot I don't know maybe 50 yards away and it seemed like I had a little more water so I'm, I took a chance and moved it so now I'm drilling some holes but I don't know if my drill is supposed to be smoking like that can't really I, I got one drilled down here I got my doubts I'm gonna be able to finish this one so my drill is just smoking and uh, stinks pretty good too so we'll see oh the sun is gone she's gonna start cooling down now uh, it's down to four degrees in here right now Still no bites on the fish, so I guess we're having, uh, let's see, what do we got? Clam chowder, got a can of clam chowder in there. Probably have that for supper. I was really looking forward to some trout, but what can you do? Luke is laying down in the sleeping bag. So yeah, I'm gonna get the little stove going again, get some tea. And probably get some clam chowder, I guess. Ooh, pretty. Yummy. Keep your nose out of there, buddy. Keep your nose out of there, buddy. Put 
that everywhere, Luke. Sorry. Let's get her going. Let's get her going, Luke. So I'm hungry. I'm hungry. What's going on with this thing, man? Why are you doing that? I might have to find a different kind of stove for cooking in here. This one is acting up already. First, first go. Already acting up. I don't think you guys seen this yet, but I put a little folding table here. Just folds up from the wall. Put a stick in there because not much space just on the cooktop here. Four point four degrees here now, but. Got the candle going, got the I've had the stove going for a little bit. Oh man, I don't know what's going on with this thing. It's just like spitting flames out everywhere. Junk. Stuff some paper towels in here, a little breeze coming through there. We'll be alright, Luke. We'll be alright. We'll be all right once we get cuddling later, eh? You'll keep me warm, eh? What the f Whoa, 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 whoa. This thing is gonna burn down my ice shack, man. It's only 720 but Luke and I, and I are gonna crawl into the sleeping bag it's uh, less than two degrees in there right now just got the Crisco candle going and I got two regular candles going in the clay pot over there but she's gonna be a chilly night I got a good breeze coming in through that camper window there the camper window got damaged and bent up and stuff when uh, I took it out of the old camper so it's not in a perfect alignment you know and, and there's little gaps in the window but what can you do uh yeah so probably just gonna watch a bit of netflix and relax for a bit and then uh call her night but uh might might uh probably have another cup of tea later on before I actually go to sleep but anyway gonna crawl in the sleeping bag and uh, watch a bit of Netflix. Check back with you in a bit. Well, it's 20 to 10. Uh, I don't know what the temperature is in here now. It just says low, so it was below zero. Um, I've been dealing with a headache all day but the last couple of hours it's been uh, getting worse so I'm just hoping I got some painkillers I don't think I do but I'm gonna check the first aid kit I've been laying down with my eyes and stuff covered because uh, I get really bad migraines so they're not fun at all so yeah, no, uh, no painkillers, unfortunately. I'll have to remember to try and keep some in here. I'm just gonna have a little snack, some muscles, and I'll be heading to bed, back to bed. So we'll catch you guys in the morning and hopefully we catch some trout too. All right, we're up, we're up. <laughs> you got 
the kettle on, but stove doesn't seem to be working. I don't know if it's froze up or what. Sun is up. Sun is up, Lukey. No, sir, it won't work. Jeez. These might never work in cold. I don't know. I should have done some research, I guess. Well, my brother dropped by after uh, a little after supper yesterday. Brought me a drill. So we're gonna get a get a line in the water right away. Well, it's warming up in here, the sun shining in here, and I bought I just boiled the kettle, so uh, up here it's uh, 10.6 degrees already, which is pretty good. 10.6 up at the top. But only three degrees down near the floor because I have the Outdoor sensor brought in here. We're gonna get some brekkie. Hopefully my eggs aren't frozen solid. Last night. Nothing. Nothing. Let's get the drawing out, buddy. Potatoes, onions, eggs. It's what's for breakfast. Get out of it. Get out of it. I'm going to get your breakfast now. You hungry? You hungry, buddy? Yeah? Stab, stab. 
come on. So guys, before I get going here, I just want to talk a little bit about these Hardland pants. Uh, been wearing them now since October. I think it was October when I got them. And uh, really happy with them so far. Covered in dog hairs right now, of course. Doesn't looky, but yeah, really happy with them. Um, just want to tell you that uh, if you use a link in my description there and use... Um, 13 prevail bushcraft as a coupon code you'll get 20% off if you want to check them out but uh, yeah um, at the heat at the bottom of the pants there's a string what I like to do is um, well, I put them outside my boots then I then I tie a bow and just tuck tuck this up in the pants nice to keep them uh, you know snug around your boots right um, I like the overly thick belt loops um, these are triple stitched pants uh, the, I think the name of these ones are the uh, Hardland tactical cargo pants something I really like is on the lag pocket I actually have a zipper instead of just a, a flap you know usually your leg your leg pockets on your cargo pants or tactical pants will just have a, a just flip over with a little velcro or something but these actually have, have zippers. Also, there's uh, three reflectors. One on the back. I think it's one on the back, two on the front. Okay, one on the leg and one on this leg. These are reflectors and one on the one on the butt pocket. But yeah, I really like these pants. Oh yeah, also they have... Uh, elastic in the sides on the sides really comfortable pants like they're not they're not snug or anything like that around the crotch or around the butt like uh, like a lot of uh, cargo pants and stuff I wear um, usually wear a layer under them a base layer in the winter but I mean you could wear these in the summer too because they're not really not really uh, thick they're a lightweight material so it's 90 95% nylon and 5% spandex. Triple stitched seams. You got two two um, butt pockets there. You got two leg pockets, but there's pockets inside the pockets as well. Of course, you got the deep, nice deep uh, pockets there for your hands or whatever you need. You know, I've been wearing them for work, wearing them. Wearing them for everything, you know, rabbit hunting and stuff, rabbit snare, wearing them on quad. They are water resistant, but they are not waterproof. So they'll repel water up to a certain point. But the thing is with these pants, if they do get wet, it's very easy to dry because um, they're so lightweight, you know. So yeah, use my link if you want to check them out. Hardland. Hardland is the name of the company. And uh, yeah, I really love these pants and uh, definitely be getting some more in the future. So yeah, use 13 Prevail Bushcraft and you'll get 20% off. And uh, if you want to see more specs and stuff like that, just click on the link in the description there and uh, you'll get all the specs you want. But yeah, I'm pretty, uh, I'm pretty happy with them for sure. And only a fraction of the cost of uh, other, other uh, brand name uh outdoorsman's pants you know i don't want to name any names but much cheaper than much cheaper than that and uh, in my opinion just as durable last attempt at fishing before i leave i'm just going to try a plain hook i'm going to put a couple of uh those artificial maggots on here There we go. Wow, 
Why are you looking at that, Luke? You can't bite that, buddy. We'll give it a try. Down she goes, Luke. You want to get stuffed in the bag, too? Watch out! Watch out! Watch out! Watch out! Watch out! Watch your feet, buddy. Step around the blue one. There you go. Good boy. Can't forget to secure everything here. Luke, we're gonna get going. Hey, Luke, someone fishing on the other uh, side of the pond there. Lukey's, Lukey's freaking out at him, of course. But yeah, pretty awesome overnight. No fish, but what can you do? Gotta try to enjoy it anyway, you know? But pretty happy with the first overnight. Pretty happy with the way it pulls and stuff with the quad. And uh, Lukey was pretty good too, I must say. But yeah, a few, few little things I gotta, I gotta remember to be bringing and stuff like that, but overall it was, a, it was an awesome night. So anyway, guys, Thanks a lot for watching. Hope you enjoyed the little overnight here. Hopefully you get a couple more before the ice uh, starts to thaw. And uh, yeah, thanks of course to the patrons who made this project happen. And uh, I, I've got some new patrons as well. So of course uh, their donations will go toward uh, the next project. I'm not 100% sure what that's gonna be yet, but whatever it's gonna be, it's gonna be fun, you know? All right, thanks a lot for watching, guys. We'll catch you on the next one. Take care. Luki's ready to go. Hey, buddy, ready to go?